Pan Profimeter is a very popular multimeter for demanding home users and for professional users. It offers non-contact voltage test, single pole phase test, four digit display up to 9999 counts and two RMS function for measurement also of non-sinusoidal signals. Auto range, 600 volt AC and DC voltage, 10 amps AC and DC current, resistance measurement, continuity test, capacitance measurement and 9 and 1.5 volt battery test. Another nice feature is the built-in powerful LED flashlight. On the back side there are practical holders for the test tips and to insert one test tips from above. There are two ways of testing the voltage of a battery. The first possibility is the normal DC voltage test in which the battery voltage is tested without any load. In this case 9.22 volt. The second possibility is the battery test where the battery is loaded with a discharge current. In this case the battery voltage is only 8.06 volt. The built-in two-stage non-contact voltage tester helps to distinguish between the phase conductor and the neutral conductor. The live test is a single pole phase test. With the Hertz button we can change from voltage measurement to frequency measurement. Current measurement with a digital multimeter is a hazardous task. The dangerous thing is that the circuit has to be opened because the whole current to be measured has to flow through the multimeter. For voltages above 50 volt, this task can be dangerous and should be carried out only by a professional electrician. The rotary switch is set to the amps position and with the cell button we switch to AC. The black plug is connected to the COM socket and the red plug to the 10 amps socket. This device can measure maximum 10 amps because higher currents would blow the installed fuse. Before measurement we have to disconnect all poles of the circuit. With a phase tester we make sure that both poles are free from voltage. We recognize this by the fact that the built-in neon lamp remains dark. Then we disconnect the phase conductor. An alligator clamp helps to attach the test LED to the conductor more easily. The other test tip touches the contact of the circuit breaker, then we switch on the circuit again. Now the current flows through the multimeter and we can read its value in the display. When for voltage measurement the red test LED is not plugged into the voltage socket, but into the current socket, then there is a short circuit. Now when the rotary switch is set from voltage to current, the text fuse in the display says that the fuse has blown because of the short circuit. <laughs>